Joker. Joker. Man, I was so excited to see like some <laughs> random, some, some random Ganon or Kirby or like Jigglypuff, any like, random who, character ever. Who's the ever. most like nobody character in the roster? And Piranha Plant. <laughs> what? No, it's not true. <laughs> Corin. They're all in Long Island. That's why. Corin. Corin. It's literally look at the roster. Who plays Piranha Plant? Who plays? <laughs> Damn, I'm trying to. I'm trying to. Wait. Who, um, right, um, <laughs> you know what's, what's really upsetting? I look at the roster, I'm like, who plays? And then immediately in my head, I find a player who right? plays it. I'm just like, wait. Uh, I hate it. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Just Piranha Plant. That's the only Just one. Just Piranha Plant. I have no idea who plays Piranha Plant. Straight up. I have no one in my mind. But no one matter. plays plant. No one plays plant. As a, you know, that's, that's called a good thing. So <laughs> here we go. Goober versus Yana on PS2 as only. Yep, Yana, the the Gen Slayer. So we're gonna see what kind of playstyle comes out to uh, perform such a feat. But who uh, who sent Yana into losers? Was it Joe? Uh, yeah, I think it, I think uh, it was Joe J. Joe yeah. J. Okay, thank you. <laughs> So I want to see what happened here because this is a very funny bracket. I can't lie. Like wins, like speaking of wins and stuff, hilarious bracket. Absolutely hilarious bracket. But Joker versus Young, not Young Link. Haha, <laughs> Toon Link. Yeah, I think I'm already kind of seeing it so far. Assuming that Jen did also play Kazuya in winners. I guess he definitely won. Yeah. Yeah, we're seeing a very defensive Joker thus far. Like throwing out just. Running back, throwing out a lot of Ehas. And now, but now the Arsene is out. And that's a humongous factor in this matchup. Just like Ooh. that, not quite taking it, but that's a lot of damage. You're going, you're getting over time from the Eha. And we're getting the tilt. Okay, my fault. Yep, that tilt. Just waiting. Yeah, online, but Arsene is gone, and Goober makes it out alive. Has to find his way back into center. Oh my god. Not killing quite you off the top. The extra bomb damage doing a little bit more percentage on Yana and gives him a little bit closer to death. And now we are scrapping for that first dog. They're both at basically kill percentage. Anything really Joker does and or Young, 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 Young does will kill, except for that. My fault. <laughs> we for like a fourth round. I'm waiting for a back air. I'm waiting for something. The Goober going into that dash attack with the F tilt. Nice. Gonna be taking things. And now see if Goober can work on a little bit of extra credit. And you're seeing that right now, the extra coming coming in clutch, 23% already, and Rage is active. That's another 37 on Yana's name that he does not need right now. Arsene slowly but surely Ooh. coming out soon. Ooh, a little bit late on the first match, unfortunately, but there is Arsene coming to help, and you're dead! Oh! But, I mean, honestly, that is a win for Goober, being able to get Arsene out on this second stock before losing his first stock, because that is just Arsene timer that Yana has to eat in order to get the first stock instead of make, doing any sort of work on the second. Ooh, I love these low. Yeah, I love it. It's kind of, it's right kind of connected twice for extra damage on Yana, and it allows Goober to just convert off of it. Oh, oh you can't roll through that. No, nope. he's nope. spinning. You oh, I like that spinning. little uh, Z drop of the bomb as Goober went through the platform. That was cute. Every time I see Joker gun, I think of the video. I <laughs> the hour and a half movie about movie. Joker gun and all the tech you can do with it. All right, actually, use the Rebels Guard to keep our channel up a little bit longer. Boom, bam, bob, drop one, two, and three, along with the eight. Uh, but Goober taking it with a nice little spacious um, advantage state against him. And a jab lock into. Ooh, That's big love the jab damage. Lock. And that is Arsen. Just about going to be gone. And there he goes. Yana really in a rough position, you know, working towards the win condition of getting the Arsene meter in, and converting it into stocks, but instead you're just getting caught by the F-Tilt. You see how angry Toon Link was? I was going to mention that. that. He just looks so mad. Why You'll see so right angry. here. He's just a cute little cartoon guy, and he's Look at that this. angry? Look about the stage. He's <gasps> so mad. He has conviction. He's killed somebody before. <laughs> he has. He's definitely... Toon Link has a body count. He, He's all the links before. have a body count. They have a creature count. It's <laughs> that's all they fight is creatures. Well, that's not a creature. That's a boy. With a creature. He does have a creature, but the creature Joker, is part of him. The creature is part. He is the creature. 
All right, running it right back to PS2. Completely, completely agree with the situation. I mean, it wasn't even that bad for Yano. It was just kind of sidestep by a lot of, like, the, the, the Toon Link techs and, like, the mechanics that he has and the conversions he can build off of things like bomb conversion, off of clearly boomerang and things like that, that Yano doesn't have much to contest about unless he per correctly uses Rebel's Guard, you know? Yeah, and as you were saying, we did not really see any sort of Rebel's Guard to oh, no, like jab block. Ooh, okay. oh, that was kind of saucy. <laughs> it, it was almost saucy, but like we haven't seen any Rebels Guard to really disincentivize any of Goober's like long range projectiles. Mm -hmm. And that really would have gone a long way into getting the Arse like the Arsen meter economy back into Yana's favor. Instead, right now we're seeing Yana with his back to the corner once again. Great spacing around that F tilt. Maybe gonna be seeing an edge guard, but commits too low. Goober finding his way back, and Arsene is gone. Absolutely. You were seeing in that, in that edge guard situation that Goober was just using those bombs as a way to bait out a lot of these recoveries from the ledge, such as neutral get up and of course roll in, which allowed Yana to just get so much percentage stuck onto himself from those from those interactions. But now Arsene, again, as you said, is gone halfway up the meter. A little bit of a poke with the grapple hook, but falling out of the jab, one, two, and three. Oh, the clang! I wish it clanged, so that way, like, they'd both died. It'd be really funny. <laughs> Mm. I wish it like hit stopped a little more on them so they they would have like a moment of like their blades clashing and they could just get to look in each other's eyes. Oh, goodbye. Goodbye with the pogo stick up coming in with the up air. Uh, just taking that for a second stock as much as well as he could. And oh. Right, but a down smash from yeah. Yana. Maybe looking to like low profile a little bit there and you know, Yana just bringing us right back into an even game. That was a really cute movement from both of them. Just like they completely avoid each other. You know, Scuba completely missing the gun and um, Yana just completely missing what Scuba was trying to go for. It was just, love that movement. Do it again. All right, Tishnite upbeat once more, taking attacking on like 20% on Yana into the bomb arrow and the dash as well. Yeah, Yana's, can been, we here? Yana's been thrown out a lot oh. of these like whiffed counters, unfortunately, and another whiffed Aegon. The pressure just keeps coming from Goober. You cannot run. You can. I, I have the, the hook. Arsene is gone. Goober only at 53%. And I really huge. would like to see, you know, some Rebels Guard coming out from Yana. I agree. A lot of these Rebel Guards would be so good on one, just charging up Arsene, and two, negating a lot of these projectiles. Just Ooh. like that, that Boomerang did a little more damage, brought him closer towards Goober, and that's what allowed Goober to snatch that second stock from him. Just like that, like we were saying. More Rebels Guard would be so useful. Back throw. Ooh, tries Excellent. to go for kind of a cheeky forward smash. And Arsene already out on Yana's last stock and really has to work fast to really get value out of it before you know, moving on to Goober's third stock. Mm -hmm. And again, one more thing that he keeps doing is keeping himself too long on these ledges where his iframes just simply go away so a little bit too fast as he gets higher up in the percentages. And Goober is very much aware of that using down. We've seen him use F tilt, we've seen him use dash attack to get him out of those situations. And Yana just continuously keeps himself good too long on those, on those ledges. Ooh. Back air not taking it quite yet. Using the down guns, but. Not finding too much out of it. Goober still sitting pretty on this oh second stop. Oh my god, again. No signal. Why does it keep doing that? Procon moment. I'm a bit Procon. Yeah. Yeah. Somehow it's the Procon fault. I'm gonna say it's Procon. All right, let's get off this scene. Yeah. Goofy music. I don't know what's been going on. That thing has been turning off and on all day. Haunted. Yeah, it's haunted. Ghosts. Wait, what, what cam is that? The... That's the wide, the wide shot. shot. Yeah. It don't matter. It's okay. It's the big shot. It is not our chance to be a big shot. Sadly, no. Yana, Yana just... Ooh. It's these projectiles. It's the boomerang. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, la the, that last this talk last was one? exactly what I was talking about, where it's just... Had he rubber boom, guarded? Bam! Bop! Bop. Gotcha moment I've ever seen in my life.